guys, I hope you're all doing well. So today I am here to react to my first ever Maxwell video. Please don't cancel me. I'm sorry. <laughs> so basically I got told about Maxwell when people in my community were chatting about a new video that they had come up with in Discord and how like amazing it is and really funny and like a meme crazy fest. And I was like, who? And they were like, what? <laughs> So they basically have asked me to do a reaction video to one of Maxwell's videos and obviously Genshin is a game that I'm very familiar with so this is where this has come from so hi we're doing this so I'm ready to delve in let's give this a watch I do not know really what to expect all I've been told is that I've been missing out so I'm excited to find out what I've been missing out on let's do it this video is uh, a cry for help. Oh. <laughs> and that's pretty good since my video okay. attempts to make watchable anime. I can't believe it, guys. They made a sequel to Stockholm Syndrome. Welcome to the world of Tavot. You may have heard of it from all the free advertising. <laughs> what is happening? That is a lot. It has been 13 seconds. Oh my god, I feel like it's been an eternity. <laughs> Raiden Shogun, you know what I mean? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay, that was that was an immediate like that was intense okay we still have 25 minutes <laughs> and i'm doing a beautiful post-apocalyptic nightmare world featuring a giant tree uh, sorry that's the wrong game <laughs> on our journey throughout the seven nations we will meet the world's most colorful cast of children interested in <laughs> energy as dangerously as possible i'm just a big fan of the characters in this game there is no reason in particular assemble your team <laughs> oh my god and begin blasting boating cooking your enemies alive <laughs> first casino and with enough time it will become baby's last casino but most <laughs> because the game will try to stop you. I can assure you that the visual novels are exactly what Da Wei intended. So join me as I navigate one of the- What am I watching? I'm sorry. One second, I need to go back. ...that the visual novels are exactly what Da Wei intended. <laughs> I, oh my god! See, I thought that's what I read, and so I had to go back and look. What is this video? Oh my god, this okay. So join me as I navigate one of the most beautiful, fantastical, and expensive game worlds ever made. One agonizing country at a time. This is it, guys. <laughs> and this is what $900 million can buy you. Are you having fun yet? <laughs> All I'm trying to say is, uh, this is a weird episode of Ava. The editing is amazing, though. Like, oh my god. Wow. Wow. Okay, I mean, first of all, holy shit. The editing, that was basically sexual. That should just be like a trailer of <laughs> Genshin. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that was so good. That, in, like, that would make me play the game, like, so hard, like, so fast. That looked dope. Oh my god, get Maxor to do your trailers. What the heck? <laughs> that was amazing. Holy shit. Wow. That's impressive. Wow, I haven't been here in uh, two years. <laughs> That's so true. Welcome oh. Back to and yes, the game still displays your IP address, just in case you're a little bit too critical. This place is where the <laughs> learns how to fight, learns how to kill innocent animals, learns that yep. they are bisexual as soon as they see Kaya. So <laughs> the opportunity to teach the basics, and uh, nothing else. The environment here looks like it shares a polygon. I think a good place to start is with our team, the Fulgunasaria. Official, every crew got the schizophrenic, personality disorder, mentally and physically deranged, wife material. I'm uh, serious about that. There's a <laughs> oh my god. She fights her tulpa. End user license agreement. Literally the only physical DBS. Possibly racist. Has the biggest slappy in Tevat. Sangun... Sang... Sang... <laughs> cock. And Rosaria, who is dressed promiscuously, so we need to cover her up in appropriate garments. <laughs> With our team assembled, we are now able to do nothing because I haven't explained the game. Genshin Impact is a based character RPG where each character wields one of the seven elements, all of them interacting completely nonsensically. Water buffs fire. Ice freezes water. Plants buff electricity. Fucking gas 
nicely. Denger requires nine tabs of Khan Academy. My team is based on not playing the game as much as possible. There is <laughs> to freeze. By the way, what I'm showing you now is considered tame. The game is actually wow. supposed to look some mentally deranged. The numbers are helping me to understand what's happening. Of course, some characters are bad, and others are very bad, but many are absolutely game-changing. There are characters that straight up allow me to fly, at least through a regular means. This one fights with a pogo stick, and this one doesn't fight at all. <laughs> is negative 87. The game also allows us to choose from a lot of weapons. I think I have a few copies, each one with their own pro- Okay, wow, I mean, <laughs> like, holy shit. First of all, like, I've never had so much information just, like, thrown at me in such a quick space time. I mean, it's all true. I completely agree. Like, it's one of those things where, like, you know, the there is a lot to this game, you know. Max was completely right. Absolutely shit tons to this game. And, yeah, you know, but fair, fair enough. Pick the waifus. Do it. Pick the waifus. Have your waifu team. Doesn't matter if that waifu team doesn't fit together, doesn't work. You pick that waifu team. To be honest, that's actually a pretty good waifu team <laughs> that he's got. So, like, it works really well. So, like, good on you. Do it. Let's go. Love that for you. But, yeah, my God. I mean, I've never had just so much just, like, ah, at me straight away, you know? <laughs> And this is me, and I can talk for England. Like, I talk so fast, so quickly. They beat me. They have 100% beat me. I d My brain could not compute. Like, ugh. Properties and substats. Sometimes too many substats. Like, goddamn, I'm fighting with a Wikipedia page. We've got bows, <laughs> spears, paddles, b big fish, sentient umbrella, child's bomb instructions. I have a lot of variation. And also theory crafting. A lot of Chinese theory crafting. They take this game very seriously. Like, right outside of a KFC, seriously. And if you're wondering about the wow. gambling, well, hell, we'll get to it later. I have a lot to say about it. Ooh. But for now, welcome to the land of the Anemo God, who is a twink that gets kicked in the balls. This guy's uh, really jamming out. No chat, I'm not going to do that. Yoinky Splinky. Oh my god, he just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Oh no, he can't be stopped. <laughs> we can't beat him. Mondstadt is a depopulated anarchist state where there are no taxes, no police, and half the country is controlled by wolves. Wolves that you uh, never actually see, unless you want to count Razor. I mean, there's the giant wolf, but he's kind of special. Uh, what the I mean, that's actually a really good point. That, like, Razor is someone that's supposed to be living with wolves, and, like, you've never seen a wolf apart from the one. <laughs> Andreas. <laughs> point actually <laughs> it's so dumb i've never thought of that <laughs> oh that's fucking genius wow okay yeah fair enough as a result of this nobody in monsat has any money Except for the church, of course. The city is undergoing a crippling wine epidemic. Look, I just think it's a serious funding issue when the cavalry captain doesn't have a horse. Therefore, most of your time is going to be spent cleaning up the- I have also asked about that before. Why is Kaya called cavalry captain if Kaya doesn't have a horse? Where are the horses? What happened to the horses? What did they do to the horses? We've never seen a horse. Maybe they ride like the boars. Maybe they rode the wolves and that's where the wolves have gone. Who knows? Bit weird. I do agree. A little bit strange. Their mess. Their singular mess. Because there is only one enemy in Mondstadt. Yes, from the beautiful ruins of old to the peaks of Dragonspine, 90% of the enemies you encounter are Hillagerals, a sentient race capable of empathy and complex thoughts. Which is why they must be destroyed. Literally, <laughs> the you are 10 seconds away from a hill troll. Why is that one unbirthing itself? Really cool that the only organization of Mondstadt is dedicated to race war. They even have their own language, which I'm being quizzed on. Honestly, I'm a bit of a yay data man myself. Really feeling that muhu yay today. Don't say Nini Zito, it's basically a slur. They uh, didn't like that. Look, what I'm trying to say is this place has problems, but ultimately, they are cool problems. Mondstadt <laughs> has been buried, well designed, or even have a story that I can't summarize in one sentence. The dragon was mean, and then he was nice. Sun Tzu. <laughs> this is just the beginning of a long, long journey. This game is planned out uh, seven years in advance. So as far as the basics go, there is no better teacher than Monster. But uh, pretty much just the basics. I don't think I'm staying for the boss fights. Oh, I, I loved that, that boss fight. What the fuck am I seeing? No. <laughs> I need to go to my teapot. <laughs> oh my 
god, that was so funny. <laughs> when everyone was saying like, this is really Mimi, you weren't wrong. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god, exactly the same thing I would do though. That's brilliant. For the next stop on our war crimes tour of the Balkans, we're heading to the funny nation. Post about this nation to instantly gain Reddit karma. And for that, we're going to need to climb as high as we can so we can deduce the direction. So uh, we're going to this location on the map. If only there was a better way to view the world. Make sure to land on the elevator. Next, we're going to a... Uh... Shit, we're going to... <laughs> One second, we're going to ascend to space. <laughs> Why does that work like that? Oh my god, the planet's receding. I am alone in this hell on Earth. I think I'm, uh... I think I'm gonna be here for a little bit. You know it's real bad when the moon is physically below you. <laughs> it's kind of dark, so I'm just gonna uh, change the time real quick. Yeah, the game lets you do that. Well, folks, it was nice knowing you all. Never mind. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey guys, Max are here. And welcome to um, China. It's just China. I really hope I didn't just tank my social credit. In our previous of adventures, we explored Mondstadt to learn the basic mechanics. And also, um, race relations. So for Li Wei, we're going to learn that we've been playing the game wrong. But before I can get to that, I need to explain my team. I call it the uh, hot shower by force. Lord knows we need it. Xing Zhe... Xing Zhe... Xi Jinping. Yes, this is a man. I know it's hard to tell. He is also ridiculously broken on account of his ability to make enemies wet. Interpret that information however you want. <laughs> is the owner of a funeral parlor, and she could use a bit of new business. She is also the winner of the most terrifying Sims Award. Like, the thread just doesn't end. He's still writing them. The most <laughs> Yolan is a character that I play for the personality. She is mm -hmm. also one of the most Such a great personality. Because she's a second Xing show. I don't even care that she's a federal psyop. I can fix her. And Toba. <laughs> Toma! Just a uh, just just don't build Toma. We are team aside, we are now <gasps> team. No! The because this team is I love Toma. I know. I know. He's one of the he's one of like the worst characters in the game. But he's such a sweetheart. They did him so wrong. It actually hurts my soul how badly they oh oh it hurts it hurts Toma deserves better fortunately genshin is not just a game about combat it's a game about gambling you see genshin impact is what we call a gotcha game because it has got me in its grasp which means that every <laughs> game mechanic is chance every character is chance every oh my god got ya gotcha G like gotcha or like catch ya I've no <laughs> Wait, is that why it's called that? Because it's like, it's like a thing of saying like, instead of saying like, got you, it's like, gotcha? Or like, catch you, gotcha. Is that what that means? I really hope that that is not true. <laughs> Wait, why is that just occurred to me? Ew. <laughs> Every weapon is chance. Every piece of every build is fucking chance. Do you know what it's like to have a mathematically impossible goblet? Goddamn elating. Hey, so yep. I see you're trying to level up your crit rate. Well, that's a weird way to spell defense. Fortunately, oh. <laughs> you can character roles using some Eastern philosophies. And the answer yep. is, um, 105 on average. But don't worry, Ugh. you've got a lot of time. Uh, I, I guess we're gonna- It's pain. Today. It's pain. True pain. Because only a few five stars are actually available. And sometimes they aren't available for 483 days. She is in prison for racism. <laughs> Eula has officially become an NPC. Let's be honest. Is Eula ever going to come back out? I don't know. She's been locked in the basement, in the Mihoyo basement. I'm sorry, Eula. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. <laughs> what are they going to do? Lock me up? So naturally, we need to feed our gambling addiction at any cost. And there's a few ways to do that. You could explore more, go on fantastic adventures, or find amazing treasures. If you want to stay poor, no. You see, the real money is made in the daily quests, which are a series of useful and normal missions, such as talking to people, murdering those people, <laughs> talking to the hillagers very nicely, finding the weasel, w where do you go, and j jumping on mushrooms. Who the fuck commissioned me to do this? <laughs> so, uh, various characters on 20-hour expeditions yeah. directly to the coal mines. Look, guys, I really need these 2,000 upgrade materials. It's just <laughs> best you don't think about it too hard. Greetings, traveler. Uh -huh. Okay. What can I do for you today? Yeah, I'd like to uh, send a child to the coal mines. What? Put her in for 20 hours. But traveler, she's going to die. The lithium is not going to mine itself, Catherine. But, but <laughs> do not question me, Catherine, or I'll have you stabbed in a future quest. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh, that was such a rip moment. Oh my god. But seriously, that moment hurt my soul. Authoritarian militaristic oligarchy controlled by a committee of really hot lesbians. I believe in Ganyu supremacy. This nation is the <laughs> land of contracts, and by entering, you have made the contract to not criticize the state. Consequently, Li Wei is also where all money is printed on the planet. So, uh, I guess Monsanto's economy is powered by hopes and dreams. And also, uh, mm -hmm. the card game. Look, Timmy, I know your dad's dead and all, but do you want to play Gwent? <laughs> the minor side effect of this is that Li Wei is in the midst of a violent crime epidemic. As in, the majority of enemies in Li Wei are human, and even worse. That's a good point, actually. So poor, in fact, that they're forced to fight you with Molotov cocktails and farming equipment. What is what is your plan, my guy? The masculine urge to dig a hole. By the way, we're the good guys. <laughs> Speaking of digging holes, I should probably address this. It's a little difficult to ignore. You see, there are many beautiful places to see in Li Wei, such as Night City, the fucking rice fields, the most annoying place to navigate on the earth. Like, please stop giving me commissions here. And then we have the Chasm, which is a secret underground labyrinth containing all of the game's elder tours. And yes, the <laughs> <laughs> just the entrance to the chasm. <laughs> yeah, there's no sound effect for that. If you die down here, no one will hear your screams. As soon as you think you're done exploring, it just it just keeps going down. The devs had to add moon shoes to the game so I could keep playing it. <laughs> trap down here. We only oh, I kind of wish it had been a little bit more Eldritch horror-y. That would have been later. like if they made like oh, really difficult later. bosses down there. That'd been great. I craft a sense of humor. Look, what I'm trying to say is Li Wei is a very diverse place. It's certainly more diverse than Hillitrol Field Number Six. But most importantly, Li Wei is a land of questions. What secrets lie in this mysterious land? What adventures are still to be had? Am I gay now? It's almost enough to make you forget the nightmare pit. And look, Li Wei might have a few issues with organized crime, sea monster attacks. It happens twice, and the landscape always trying to kill me. But hey, at least the story's up. It's okay. It can anyone can anyone here tell me why 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 like there's a <laughs> why there's like a giant bird next to me? It's weird. <laughs> oh fuck, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shed her moment. Oh my god. The edits. I love these edits for like the videos. It's so cool. What's up, gang? It's me, Arataki. So what? <laughs> Damn, that was a good, that was good voice acting. Holy shit, that was accurate. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh god, not in a zoomer. Okay, oh no. To reach Japan. Don't worry, I have a plan to bypass immigration. We are going to walk there. Yes, that's right. We're going to. Excuse me. We're going to travel underneath the ocean. So apparently, I just have to um. Uh huh. That actually worked. Okay, I think I've, uh, made a mistake. It's time to descend into the abyssal zone. Just to watch out for the void. Uh, what do I do about this? So I think I've been walking for uh, 20 minutes. I don't like this anymore. We're okay, pretty close now, so um, I don't think we're close enough. Please no. Please no. Please no. I oh, oh, <laughs> that is relatable. I've done that so many times. Oh. Oh, I love Inazuma. Oh my god. What is Let's see it ripped apart. <laughs> Welcome to the land of Inazuma, a home to nobody because no one is properly housed in Inazuma. Previously, Monsat taught us how to play, and Li Wei taught us how to simp. Well, the land of lightning is here to teach us that we have not felt true pain yet. But first, let's go over our team, which I will be calling the, uh, Yandere Benzos. Yai Miko. Mommy, sorry. Kidnapped <laughs> a man and force feminized him. God, I wish that was me. Traveler, I'm making a call-out <laughs> post to my Twitter.com. What the fuck are you saying? I'm gonna piss on the fucking moon. <laughs> 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 that is actually how it appears in game. In fact, we can name him all kinds of things, such as oh. Baby Girl, Dr. Ligma, Wobuja Dr. Wall, Ball, Ball Fart, Testicles, <laughs> what is that? And last but not least, Hokushish, oh, Hatsune Miku. This is literally just Miku. Like, they didn't even try to hide it. And Bennett, who is the single most overpowered unit in the game. Like, Genshin doesn't have power creep because of Bennett. So <laughs> Bennett is so good. Exploded. Now, my previous teams, they were kind of nice. But this time, I'm not playing nice. I'm playing for funny numbers. Every single member is optimized beyond the boundaries of reason. I Damn. six copies of Hatsune Miku, and now I can kill Tortellini in two attacks. It is <laughs> oh my push. god! So Bruce can fly, like actual flight. It breaks like half the game's AI when you do it. And they're just very confused. <laughs> my entire team is him shooting down at the peasants like an attack helicopter. Just, uh, yeah, Wanderer is for this. I had to good. This view. I'm liking these teams that he's put together. Oh my god, this editing is so good. Hang on a fucking second. She's wearing socks. I knew this was gonna get brought up! <laughs> For fuck's sake! Oh, of 
course I got brought up. Fucking wet socks. Catastrophic disasters, both natural and man-made. But mostly man-made. Me and the fellas watching Oppenheimer in the IMAX. Inazuma is also engulfed in a decades-long civil war, resulting in mass unemployment and a refugee crisis. Naturally, this is reflected in the enemy variety, because to visit Inazuma is to be accosted by hundreds of jacked homeless people. Like, these guys just stand in the rain all day. How do the Hillitrolls have more shelter than this? It is also a land of many islands, which all act as their own individual insurgencies. So, I think this is a great opportunity to educate you as to why you should never visit Inazuma. <laughs> the fucking puzzles. This shit is the work oh, of Satan. I I don't think I've ever solved an Inazuma puzzle that's like just sat around that I've not needed to. <laughs> I've got so many in my game. It is the government, and her name is the Raiden Shogun. Oh, such a good scene. By nuclear weapons testing, which then proceeds to leak out of the elephant's foot in an amount so dangerous it makes Chernobyl look like clown college. I mean, I guess there's also the Kujo encampment, but uh, we don't go to the Kujo encampment. Well, that's enough of that. <laughs> Wait a minute. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait. Does that music actually play? On account of the non-stop lightning storm and a uh, slightly imposing giant skull. My favorite activity is uh, going to this place. It limits the land the lightning can strike, so it just fucking whacks you. Looks like another beautiful day in the great land of Inazuma. Of course, I couldn't fix the problem if I wanted to. But when I began the quest to remove the lightning, I was struck by it. I've been attacked as a sign from God. Island is what happens when Mr. Beast donates 50 megatons of ionizing radiation to families to be. Like, this shit makes Evangelion look like a comedy special. The fact that there aren't even homeless people here probably tells you all you need to know. Surumi Island is a very isolated place. Populated for thousands of years by bird worshipping savages who need their mineral resources exploited. President Biden, please send Raytheon missiles so I can buy just Sony water and Cheetos. I just think it has something to do with the uh, interdimensional dog. Watatsumi Island is really nice. Like, it what is. the fuck? It's Does this so cool. Count as an island? It's just so beautiful. I sure hope it's not hiding some kind of horrifying dark secret. Oh, oh, that was eerie. Atlantis. Fucking Atlantis. You get there by it's jumping into the giant awesome. hole. It's awesome. Like, how is this legal? Are the developers okay? This place was once home to a thriving civilization, which collapsed nearly instantly after they discovered TikTok. It also allows me to toggle the powers of the artificial sun. And, uh, holy shit, this 5G connection is crazy. Look, I think you've got the idea at this point. As much as I've talked about reactions and, uh, children, Genshin and is, is an exploration game. Because Love you explore your sexuality. And that makes Inazuma one of the best areas. If you don't count the story, please kill me, mommy. I've been a bad boy. <laughs> Infrastructure I think that was everyone. Land, but honestly, that's just part of the rustic charm. How else do you think this island got a giant crater? Just uh, be glad you don't have to live in Inazuma. It's all fun and games until you piss off the geometry. God, the bosses suck in Inazuma. I hate farming them. It's so bad. Hi guys, it's me, Goro. Goro. Oh, is that peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh, here we go. Subaru. Alright, fellas, for our next stop, we're going to enter the weed land. We need to smoke that Zaza and fall unconscious. And to do that, all we have to do is not be stuck in Inazuma. So if you were a fan of our undersea adventure, then don't worry. This glitch is much worse. All we gotta do is uh... <laughs> Whatever that was, I can't oh. the W button, by the way. Get ready to receive some holy spirit. Uh, okay, so we're just we're just going down to we're, we're going to we're going to Silent Hill now. Oh Sorry, God! It looks like we're uh, approaching meltdown. What <laughs> <laughs> guys? It's me, Maxo. Uh, one second, guys, my mom's calling me. Uh, hey, Bob. W one second, I'm flying to get that Zaza. What does that mean? It means I'm low key in a battle bus. Sometimes I wish you were normal. Okay, <laughs> That's relatable. Perfect landing. Oh, the music used to stone. Hey there, my little Genshits. Welcome to the land of Sumeria, in Sumeru, anti jump scare. The only nation in Genshin that can use the internet. Oh my god, my little Genshits. That's hilarious. Like Holy fuck, this is so Before funny. Before we can get into the intricacies of Sumerian society, I have to explain my team. The, uh, the kindergarten. Nahida is, <laughs> I, I can explain. My girl is 10, but she is 10. Nahida is the <laughs> oh of my god. Account knowledge as the personal thoughts of every NPC in Sumeru, which she can read. Even when I log into Discord, there's no escaping her. Oh my fucking god, they're still typing it. How many emotes do these people have? <laughs> 
watching you count as a hobby? What? <laughs> I've actually been watching you for a long time, honey. Excuse me, what? Nilu has a coconut skull. There is nothing happening inside her head. Wait a minute, I've seen you before. But fellas, I've got something to admit. You see, Kokomi's damage scales on health, her healing scales on health, and yes, even her health scales on health. So naturally, when it came time to build her, I um, used the wrong stat. It is the <laughs> Yao Yao is very cute and muddy. Her play style is chill and relaxing. In fact, you don't even have to play as Yao Yao. You play as her artificial beast given life. It uh, throws vegetables at them. How many people would you kill for Yao Yao is not the right question. The right question is how many people I would allow to live. Personally, I think this team is really good for not having a DPS. And we are going to need it for all the funny and interesting events this game has to offer. Because, dear viewer, I lied to you. The best way to make money is not actually the Weasel minigame. It is participating in temporary event content, which I can only describe as punishment for developers who are too insane. Event content such as Prop Hunt, a game where you disguise yourselves as various Oh, I was so good at that, though. Very I enjoyed people. that. Oh god, I think he's got a whiff. Wow, guys, <laughs> this is just like Genshin Impact. Yeah, but I don't have to pay to see kids. You know what? I think it's time to show off my winning strategies. <laughs> Fellas, I've got a good feeling about this one. All we've got to do is, uh... Yep. Next, you gotta... You gotta do this. He will never find me this way. D does he know? Oh my god, he doesn't know. <laughs> Wait a second, no. Alright, fellas, I gotta play for this map. <laughs> We're just gonna stand here. He has no clue. <laughs> Why is it working like this? I'm sorry, guys. Looking up is really hard. I am torturing this man. You could say that he's, uh, that he's among us. <laughs> like the boat minigame. I'm oh. having so much fun with the boat minigame. The Pokemon tournament arc. Died. What is happening on my screen? Does that man have a fucking gun? The be beetle cockfighting. I've always wanted to beat a child. And my personal favorite, <laughs> Chinese New Year. Because it makes me the most money. Just uh, don't look up any of the cutscenes. Oh! What the fuck? No! Yeah, I think you've got some hidden talent. Please keep it hidden. <laughs> I feel the exact same way. Holy shit, that's so funny. Oh my god. If they just. Kai, you gotta watch out, buddy. You're, you're fucking. You're rolling in the ragged too much. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. Holy shit, this is so funny. Governed by the worst organization imaginable. University. This nation is the land of knowledge, with most of it being devoted to new, more efficient ways to be racist. And to that end, Sumeru is segregated between two distinct parts, each with their own unique ways to kill you. The forest is a terrifying safari hellscape, where each animal is not only able to kill you, but is evolved to. We've got tigers. Cows, crocodiles, robot dinosaur. Fungus dinosaur. Welcome to Jurassic Park. And my favorite animal type, poor people. But most importantly, <laughs> oh the forest God. is where the white people live, and they're filling the library with video essays. This is the Academia, who controls Subaru by spreading misinformation on the internet. Raiden, the Academia doesn't want you to know this, but you can steal ducks from the public park. Th they're free, Raiden. The desert is a desolate, abandoned wasteland, once home to a thriving civilization. Before the Caucasoids built a giant wall between them. Does does anyone else think this is weird? We've got scorpions. We've got scorpions. Welcome to Jurassic Hell. We've got the, uh... <laughs> Never mind. So is he gonna, like, uh... Okay. And we've got worm demons. But my personal favorite obstacle is definitely the gigantic fuck off laser. <laughs> Most of them are just liberal propaganda to make you believe that race mixing is a physical need. And fellas, it's working. But hey, the desert isn't all that bad. As long as you ignore the racist genie quest. Motherfucker graduated from casual to competitive racism. Alright, later, Max. What? Wait. I'm gonna go after you real quick. The, no, you can't do this to me. Look, the point is, Sumeru is massive, and it's not even done. It's and also huge. Isn't done. And also Mondstadt. Yeah. But what Sumeru does have is an actually good story. Like, yeah. out of all the things I expected, Harvard building an Evangelion was not one of them. Shindy! Get the fuck out of the Evangelion right now! <laughs> you can't tell me what to do anymore, Mom. I'm finally inside of another man. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they really made this boss fight. Mobile yeah. Game, by the way. So whether you're exploring that boss fight sucks. AM, finding amazing oases. God, I sure hope nothing whimsical happens here. <laughs> fighting more <laughs> I'm trying to be a police officer. Or doing the eight-hour gnome people quest. That is, a, that is a lot of side quests. <laughs> there will always be a new surprise in Sumeru. And if future content is even a fraction as good as this, then I'm going to be playing this game for a very long time. Yeah. Because, you know, I wasn't doing that already. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, these edits are so good, though. Damn. 
Wow. Seriously, Maxwell just edit for them. where you going? tweaking out right now. Damn, that's so good. Holy shit. You know what, guys? Before I go, I want to give you all a fun tip that most Genshin players don't know. Okay. The age of consent is 18 years old. <laughs> wow what an amazing video like god damn like that is actually that was actually amazing like i'm so impressed first of all like behind all the jokes and everything like that the actual editing i'm so impressed like that is so hard to do as someone who like edits their own videos and i'm like learning a lot about editing and stuff like a lot of the stuff would have taken so much time like this video would have taken probably quite a long time to make so i am genuinely super impressed that was fucking hilarious first of all um <laughs> a lot of the jokes definitely doesn't give a shit <laughs> just just you know saying saying a lot of either what they think or you know stuff that genuinely is quite true that's fair enough seriously should just like freaking edit for Genshin because oh my god the editing is so good you can clearly tell they enjoy the game and they have a passion for it and they put a lot of hours into it like they clearly understand the game because you know as someone who is a Genshin player like I got the jokes I got it I got the contents behind it it was oh my god it was just funny and yeah they're not wrong you know that a lot of stuff they said was very true <laughs> someone who's never seen a Maxwell video like that was very intense i really want to watch the other ones now because like i have played dark souls i really want to play Elden ring i've not played it yet but like as someone who plays dark souls like to have this edit this kind of style of editing with other kind of videos i'd really like to see it i also i heard that honkai song at the end oh my god if maxwell does a video on honkai oh my god <laughs> that's gonna be amazing i really want to see that holy shit that was just so good i really love the way that like when he was like introducing a lot of the islands he was talking about a lot of like the socio like political kind of issues that are in each of the areas and kind of highlighting you know like kind of like taking the sort of like serious side of Genshin that I guess people don't really think about and actually highlighting it in this video was actually something I wasn't expecting because there is like a really serious side to the Genshin story and there is a there is like a much like darker side and more like serious side and I think that people don't really think about that you just think about like oh like the pretty environments and the characters and you know oh waifus and husbandos and oh that's great but like there is actually a really interesting story behind it and there is actually really an interesting like world that's been created and set up and I think sometimes do people do kind of forget about that so I love the fact that all that was sort of highlighted in this video as well I really enjoyed that part of it and I thought it was very accurate and concise obviously you know Toma my boy I love him but I do agree <laughs> Eula yep yep absolutely um yep just honestly it was that was fucking great thank you very much for the recommendation i really enjoyed that anyways thank you so much for the recommendation guys it, this was probably me just laughing and agreeing <laughs> for the most part with this video but thank you so much for the recommendation i hope you enjoyed this reaction if you did don't forget don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe plenty more content on this channel and yeah if you want to check out this video for yourself or you know you've seen this video for yourself please go and show some love to this channel because they are amazing and i really want to watch the other ones if you guys want to see me watch any more of these by the way please do let me know because as a dark souls fan i am very tempted to watch those as well because honestly oh my god this was hilarious and yeah thank you very much for hanging out and i will catch you very soon have an amazing rest of your day bye